What's all the fuss about AI and essays? AI is pretty much everywhere, right? It's the new hot tech that everyone wants to try out because it makes things so much easier. So why does it seem that teachers from kindergarten to college don't want students using it? The short answer is, it's complicated. AI can be awesome. It's used to help advance medicine and technology. It can be great to help narrow research when there's too much to sort through. And it's used in everything from recommendations about what to watch next on your streaming service and facial recognition on your phone to robotics and cybersecurity. But AI can also be dangerous. For one thing, it's not always correct. For another, it can be manipulated in lots of different ways. In fact, AI can be used to generate text specifically designed to manipulate the pool of data AI scans. To understand this, you have to understand an old concept called garbage in, garbage out. This basically means that the results you get out are only as good as the data you put in in the first place. So if people put incorrect data onto the internet, whether intentionally or unintentionally, and AI uses that information to generate a summary or review or analysis, what the AI spits out will be inaccurate because it's summarizing or analyzing inaccurate information to begin with. AI can't tell the difference between good information and bad information, so it assumes everything is good. Also though, AI can generate text so fast that it's very easy for a talented prompt engineer to spin up hundreds or even thousands of articles, product reviews, etc. that say exactly what the engineer wants them to say, regardless of whether it's true or accurate. Have you ever bought something from a website that had tons of amazing reviews, but then you get the thing you ordered and it's trash? It's because most of those reviews, if not all of them, are fake. Humans can write fake reviews too, but it takes a whole lot more time. So many unethical sellers use AI to generate fake reviewers and fake reviews to trick consumers into buying their products. Here's the big takeaway. AI is a tool. It isn't inherently good or bad. Just like any tool, what matters is how you use it. You can use it to build good stuff, you can use it to build bad stuff, and you can use it to tear things apart. That's why we're so picky about using AI for homework assignments, essays, etc. We don't hate AI. In fact, used correctly, it can help you learn a lot. But used incorrectly, AI does the exact opposite. It robs you of your chance to learn. But who cares, you might ask. I'm not going to be a professional writer anyway, so what difference does it make? Well, it's not about becoming a professional writer, but about learning to write clearly, which helps you communicate clearly. Every assignment you're given teaches you skills that will help you in your future career and life. It might seem like you're just writing about a short story or a psychological theory or the War of 1812. And sure, that's part of what you're doing. But there's much more important stuff going on when you write essays. You're also learning to... Form an opinion you can defend with clear information, organize your ideas, build a case that demonstrates your idea is right, research a topic, including evaluating whether sources are reliable or not, make your points clearly and convincingly, and pay attention to details. Not only will all this help you in future college classes, in your career, it can help you make good problem-solving decisions because you can evaluate information well, avoid mistakes that come from neglecting details, communicate important information with clients or patients and your coworkers and bosses, explain why you're the right person for a job in an interview or why you should be promoted or receive a raise in a way that makes it more likely you'll achieve your goal. Learning to write and communicate well can help in your personal life too. Every single relationship, whether it's with your bank or the person selling you a car or your significant other or your parents or your kids, benefits from good, clear communication. When you overuse AI, you don't get to learn these important communication skills, but your peers who don't overuse AI, they do learn those skills and get to practice them and get good at them. That means you'll be behind when you go into a job interview or ask for a promotion, or if you become an entrepreneur, when you try to sell a client, because other people people will know how to communicate better than you. That's why we want you to do your own work. It might feel like you're just using AI to get a paper done faster so you don't have to read some poems you don't really care about, but really, you're giving up your opportunity to learn how to get more of what you want out of life and career. So where is the line? When is it okay or even good to use AI for writing assignments and when is it not? AI is great for things like spell check, just checking grammar. For example, letting AI tell you that you're missing an apostrophe or should have said I instead of me. Translating words that are not in your native language. Generating a draft citation for your work cited or references page. But be careful because AI often gets this a little bit wrong. Always double check the results against the rules. 
AI can also help you understand words, phrases, or passages that you don't quite get. For example, you could ask AI what Shakespeare meant when he wrote that all the world's a stage, or the difference between a war and a conflict, or what the theory of relativity looks like in real life. You can also use AI to brainstorm ideas. Sometimes you understand the subject you need to write about, but you can't figure out an angle to approach it from. You can ask AI for 10 different essay topics about your subject. Maybe you choose one of those, or maybe the ideas help you come up with your own. You're not asking it to write a paper. You're just asking it to give you ideas about what you can write. Some programs are even sophisticated enough that you can ask for feedback without getting changes. So you can write a thesis statement and then ask the AI if it's a good one. And more importantly, why or why not? You shouldn't use AI to write your paper for you, take your ideas and turn them into a paper based on the requirements, change your paper to make it sound better, make suggestions on how to change your paper and then just accept them, change the way you naturally phrase things or your natural vocabulary. You also shouldn't have AI write your paper, then just go in and change some words and phrases and move things around. Especially don't try to find replacement words on a thesaurus website or app and assume they mean exactly the same thing. Usually they don't and you end up with what we call word salad. Want to level up how you're using AI? There are two great ways to do this. One, ask the AI to suggest changes, but read them and only change the things you understand. For example, if it tells you punctuation or spelling is incorrect, then change it. If it tells you the paper would flow better if paragraph two and paragraph three were reversed, and when you read it that way, you see why it's better, then change it. If it says you're using a word that does not mean what you think it means and suggests other words, look them up and see which one is the one you want. But if it wants to change your words and phrases to fancier ones, just say no, especially if you can't explain exactly what it means now or why you chose those words. Two, always ask the AI why something is wrong. And when it answers you, read it. That way you'll know how to do it yourself next time. Sometimes students ask how instructors and professors can tell something they've written is AI. Well, there are AI detectors and sometimes those will tell us right away. But the biggest detector tool we have is something you don't have yet, experience. We've been reading and writing original words for years, sometimes decades. We can tell what AI writing looks like because we know what human writing looks like and more importantly, what it doesn't look like. And that is the most important reason not to misuse AI in your assignments, experience. If all you look at is AI writing and your AI does all or even most of your writing for you, you'll never learn to tell the difference between something computer generated and something a human being who knows their topic wrote or said. Why does that matter? Remember garbage in, garbage out? Remember all those hundreds of fake reviews? Remember how easy it is to manipulate the available information so that AI-generated summaries say what someone wants them to say? That's why. Learning to read, write, and communicate well and learning good research and analysis skills helps you recognize good communication, good analysis, and real research. And those things keep you from being manipulated. No matter how many people start using AI for all their writing and analysis and communication, there will always be some people who know how to do it themselves. Those are the people who hold the power. Learning to write and communicate and analyze for yourself is how you keep your own personal power. It's how you make sure you're the one controlling your life. So remember, AI is a tool. Use it wisely.